knows you're not selling anything. The Fed's not done, and I'm going to tell you why. Welcome back to Sean's show. It is episode 42. One of my favorite numbers because of uh, his, his Hiker's Guide to the Galaxy. And Jackie Robinson. Uh, and and Jackie Robinson, Maybe. the first African, <laughs> African-American. I love how Trump says African-American. Is that how he says it? The African-Americans. He stresses Americans. He does. The African-Americans. Uh, it's, uh, it's great to be back. Um, I hope you're having a great week. I'm here as always with Matt Hansel, my Asian producer. Yes. Half Asian. One eighth Samoan. One eighth Samoan producer. Yeah. My Samoan producer, Matthew Hansel. Yes. 12.5% um, AAPI. <laughs> that means you get 12.5% of the discrimination of a normal Asian person. Yes. And that must be nice for you. It must be refreshing. Um, or the privilege. The Asian privilege. privilege. I don't know. No. No? You're pretty much white passing. I am white. I'm not going <laughs> to pass. I'm Lebanese. I'm an eighth Lebanese. I'm 12.5% Arab, which means I was, I'm 12.5% sad that the Iranian president crashed. And I'm just checking in. I know we had a little time. You're not Jewish. No. Okay. No. We'll for on. the record, for the record, every joke, I, I am not Jewish. Although I look Jewish enough where I actually get discriminated against because of my perceived Semitism. I experience anti-Semitism. That's why I moved to Brooklyn to be with my people. There autistic you. nerds. There you go. <laughs> with no testosterone. Mm -hmm. I moved to Brooklyn to be with my people. Um, that's the land. You know how like Jews and Arabs want to return to like the uh to whatever? Yes. The uh Jerusalem. I want to return to Brooklyn, and I have. I've returned to Brooklyn. I've returned to my homeland of being a your, weak this cuck. Your, this is your Hajj. This is my Hajj. Yes. <laughs> the Hajj didn't like people die in the Hajj. Don't they die? I this is not. I know that that I know that a Hajj happens. I don't know anything else about it. I'm pretty sure there was a year where there was a there was a hot in the Hajj. They were going to Mecca, and I believe there was a stampede. And a bunch of people died in this stampede mm. to the Hajj. Um, and uh, <laughs> a lot of them were uh, whistleblowers for Boeing. Wow. They were murdered. Interesting. <laughs> they, were, uh, they, were, they were on their way to whistleblow at Mecca. They were talking to the, to the, to the, uh, to the, stone, to the, to the stone cube. Why is it a stone cube? We're going to get very Islamophobic on this episode. No, Sean. <laughs> Sean, you don't want those problems. I'm a one-eighth Lebanese. They're, I can do it. I don't think that I don't think they're going to be checking in on that when when they stone me. Yeah. Is that also oh, okay, that was already pretty bad. Look, all religion, can I say this? All religions are equally retarded. Um Right? Yeah. Except for Christianity, the correct one. But everyone else is is like no, there's 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 got to be worse ones, right? Like Scientology. Scientology, yeah. But the thing is, Scientology is it's just as bad. I mean, it's 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 a we should look. Here's my take, ready? Here's my here's my take, my Brooklyn take. We should look at every religion how we look at Scientology. So we should look at Scientology and we laugh at the absurdity. Aliens coming back to earth. Um I I got I got a question for you. Shoot. Give me your Tom Cruise for each religion. Okay. You know, you know like, 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 the, like the hero the, character? The unofficial <laughs> but kind of official poster boy. I mean, Christianity, Jesus. No, 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 no. But I mean, like, alive today. Who's like... Oh, the, who's like the Christian oh, oh, poster I, I, boy? I see what you mean. I misunderstood you. Mm -hmm. I thought Tom Cruise was actually in the lore of Scientology. I mean, he, that's the next chapter. I think. <laughs> but it's a living book. Mm -hmm. It's a living book. Um, well, shit hold, on, for hold on. Let's let's go. Let's go. The big three: Christianity, Islam, Buddhism, Judaism, Buddhism, okay. Judaism. <laughs> let's. Uh, you're like. Let's go. The big three: Buddhism, Buddhism, Buddhism. Here, let's let's look up famous Buddhists. You you think of Christianity. I'm gonna look up famous Buddhists. Uh, I want to say Christianity is 
The most, I mean, the Pope. Not really, though. But he's a proper yeah. religious figure. Yeah. I'm thinking like, I feel like Chris Who's Pratt. The, Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt is a. That is so gross to me that Chris Pratt is like a really religious God guy. Can yeah. you believe Chris Pratt is a God guy? I can't. I don't. I don't understand when people that. I, I don't. I don't know. Chris Pratt is a Hollywood elite. He's seen the pedophile parties. Mm -hmm. Like he's maybe seen. That's, maybe that's why he likes the Christianity. Is the pedophilia? <laughs> or maybe he saw him and he tried to find God because he was shocked about what he saw. We don't know. But I have a message. Just because you get rich and drive a Lexus and you're in movies doesn't mean God is real now. A lot of people are still stuff. A lot of people are still suffering just because you drive a Lambo and you have a, a build uh, a, a really nice home in West Hollywood. It doesn't mean that God is real. Like there is a trend that people that are religious that get they get they get rich and then they get religious. And I promise you that will never happen to me because I will never be rich. Hmm. But if I were to become rich, I'd probably find God soon thereafter. Yes, because you know God, which God. The uh, the right one. Um, Zenu. See, that's great. <laughs> um, okay, I got a list of. See, I don't believe this list though. What is it? List of famous Buddhists. Yeah. Okay. They're like, I think they just pull. I think they're just going off of vibes here. Okay. It's it's uh, <laughs> they've got like they're just like sort of semi chill ish celebrities. So they got like Orlando Bloom. Jeff Bridges. They have Leonard Cohen here. The Jew? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Jennifer Aniston. Leonard Cohen is not a Buddhist. Brad Pitt. You can't be named Leonard Cohen. They have Keanu Reeves, but it's not a picture of Keanu Reeves, which is cool. This What's is, it a picture of? I have no idea. It looks like... I believe Keanu Reeves is a Buddhist. Keanu Reeves could be Buddhist. Yeah. But that's, that guy... That guy is, is not that a Keanu. Different Keanu Reeves. This guy looks Mexican. That looks like Leonard Cohen. I don't know. That who looks like he Senor is. Cohen. It looks like an AI <laughs> version. I don't know if you've seen any of that, but like people making different celebrities different races. Oh, I have seen that. Yeah. Like I saw, what if the show Friends was black? <laughs> looks like that. Maybe yeah. maybe if you did, but I don't. He doesn't even look like any version of Keanu Reeves. Whatever. Um, uh, in any case, I would probably say that Buddhism is, I would say, like a guy like, I don't know. Isn't Donald Trump Buddhist? No. Uh, Michelle like Michelle Yeoh is the first one that comes up here. I, I'd i give Michelle Yeoh a, a crack. Right? Yeah. But Buddhism is like, it's, it's a Buddhism isn't even, it's a religion. You know who I want to meet, Matt? I want to meet an Orthodox Buddhist. I want to meet like a conservative, like a conservative, very strict Buddhist who, who loves, who like is so into med, like is so into <laughs> med meditation that he like, uh, becomes a worse that, person from that it. he becomes a bad, like he like, like I want, I want to meet a Buddhist that is so into Buddhism that he like hits his kids because he's, he wants them to be Buddhist that much. I feel like that does that exist? Well, I feel like there's been w wars that Buddhists have fought in, certainly. Yeah. Uh, just with like the historical context of like the religious warfare that's happened around that area of the world, right? China, China, India. Uh, like I feel like that Mongolia. Yeah, there's, there's, there's certainly they've had to have put up a fight to defend for what they believe in at some point. Right. Who, who did the Buddhists go to war with? Bad vibes. <laughs> <laughs> um, I feel like the Buddhists, the only people Buddhists go to war with is themselves. Right. That's all. That's the whole point of Buddhism is to like kill your ego. Right. Damn. You're spitting. I killed my ego. I killed my ego, and not only did I kill my ego, Matt, I raped and killed my ego. I don't think that's how. I don't think you I, did. I, <laughs> no. I pushed my ego down. Who do you think is the Who do you think is the poster boy for, uh, for Jews? For Jews? 
Me? That you're up there. Um uh, I don't know. I mean it's it's I mean it's it's like real it's just yeah, there's relig like there's people that I don't know. I mean, it's hard to say because Tom, the Tom Cruise of Scientology, no one else is the Tom Cruise of Scientology. It's such a unique thing to do to to invest yourself into this world that is so obviously fake because Tom Cruise. Well, you know what it is? Tom Cruise joined Scientology. He didn't grow up Scientologist. Yeah. So we have to find the people that are like. Late, grew up late, normally late, late and then converted. Adopters, late adopters. You know who Which, Islam is? Dave Chappelle. Or Nas, the rapper. Yeah. <laughs> it's like any rap, any celebrity that finds Islam. That's I like wonder, the, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm, I, I wonder what parts of Islam Dave Chappelle really adheres to. None of them. Yeah. None of I them. I think... He's a comedian. That's his religion. His whole life Comedy's, is haram. His whole com- life is haram. Comedy's my religion. <laughs> I mean, like, there's, like, at the very, like, it's just, it's funny. I could never imagine myself converting to a religion. You know what I mean? What if they were like, you have to do one? What do you? The only way I would convert to a religion is if, like, my wife or my girlfriend wanted me to. Mm. And even then, I probably wouldn't. Like, you see that a lot. You see a lot of, like, partners. Uh, like, if someone, if you marry someone who's a very conservative religious person, I think often you see the partner convert to that religion sort of because, like, they have to. Yeah. Because the I will, family is like, oh, I don't want you marrying an atheist. I, I need your partner to convert or we're all going to go to hell. I will say that. Which is fine. My girlfriend's not religious, but she really enjoys like the holiday season. Okay. And I I'm I don't particularly care for it. And yeah. but but this past year we decided together that I would care about it more. That I that, <laughs> that I actually Did you talk about the couple couples therapy? That I actually do that I actually do like Christmas. <laughs> um and why don't I, you care about the hol- the holidays are great. It's the most American thing. <laughs> Capital con- consume, at, buy stuff. It's, it is buying. You know what my religion is? Buying shit. Yeah. Buying. Um, I want to buy a tomahawk missile from Raytheon. That's on my wish list. People go, "What do you want? Why do you even podcast, John? What do you want to be rich for?" I want to buy a tomahawk missile for my uses. Mm-hmm. You don't. You don't know what my uses are, but they're for my uses. It's good. Um. But, and, I'm, and I'm not going to be a whistleblower. And speaking of whistleblowers, let's talk about knowing. <laughs> we need a soundboard to do like tr- transitions. Oh, I, I, um, I, I would love to get a soundboard. Yeah, we should oh. get a fucking soundboard. Um, we had a soundboard for. A, I had a sound. I'll have to look into buying one. But um, yeah, let's get to the news. I mean, guys, I don't know. I don't know where this. I don't know where this Boeing story ends. I don't want. Don't give me like you might be like. Oh, well, Sean talks about Boeing every week. It's, it's getting old. I'm not trying to talk about Boeing every week. New new but stuff. It just does, gen, yeah. like I'm not scraping the bottom of the barrel. Talk like literally. There's a new story every week about an issue with a Boeing plane. So that's not me talking about it every week because I want to. I do want to. <laughs> but like it's it's great. So um, so there was a. Uh, let me read the story to you. Boeing turbulence continues. Um, there was a uh, another uh, another another issue with a Boeing plane. A plane, a Boeing plane on the way to, I believe. Let's take a look here. A Boeing plane was on the way to. Uh, Oh, it was a, excuse me. It was a Singapore Airlines flight. Singapore to Thailand. Singapore. Was it diverted in Thailand? It was diverted to Thailand, but it was a Singapore flight. Uh, Basically, there was some really bad turbulence, and like 79 people were injured. I think 20 of them critically. Whoa. So 79. So check this out. A Boeing airplane, a Singapore Airlines uh, flight, a Boeing plane experienced very, very bad turbulence. Uh, 79 people were injured on this flight. 
And then I, I actually read there were two people that were actually killed for discussing it. From Boeing. By Boeing. Yeah. They were murdered. But they... They were not on the plane, but they were killed. But, the, but they worked for Boeing? They were the whistleblowers? Yeah. Yeah, okay. And... And, uh... No, I was... Um... Well, no, two people did die, right? I think, no, well, I was, that, that was a joke, but one guy did die. Okay. Uh, this guy, he goes, uh, I don't know. I don't know where this is going. Like, the British man said, here's, here's a quote. The British man said he was so scared that he bought in-flight internet access to message his mother. I wasn't trying to scare her, but I said, quote, I love you. How else do you expect them to sell Wi-Fi on a plane if they don't threaten your life? <laughs> you know what I mean? I, guys, the only way, reason I buy plain Wi-Fi is to text my loved ones, I love you, I don't know if I'm going to make it. As you're going down. Take care of my mom for me. That's the only reason I'm buying plain Wi-Fi. That's a big, I don't know what the big deal is. That's a big part of their revenue. That's a big business unit for them. Threatening the passengers to buy plain Wi-Fi because the planes are so dangerous. That's the only reason you feel compelled to buy it. It was still not clear what exactly caused the turbulence that sent the Boeing 777 carrying 211 passengers and 18 crew members on a... It plunged 6,000 feet, bro. 6,000? The airplane plunged 6,000 feet in three minutes. And for those of you that are bad at math, that's a lot of fucking... That's a long drop. I mean, that's like a... That's over a mile. Yeah. Yeah. That's over a mile in three minutes. Um... So I don't know. I mean, and again, Boeing, it's it's just all these, it's the blame game. Boeing blames Singapore Airlines. Singapore Airlines blames the FAA. The FAA blames the Jews. And it all comes back to me. And that's not fair. It's not fair. Every, every like, like, what am I going to be blamed for next? I swear to God, I, you know, I've been fighting with my girlfriend. I feel like I'm going to get blamed for the whistleblower murders. Like, next time a whistleblower gets murdered by Boeing, my girlfriend's going to be like, why'd you kill that guy? Mm, she's going to... I feel like you killed him. She's going to pin it on you. <laughs> I love you, baby. She doesn't watch the show. <laughs> uh, Can you imagine if she did? Mm, no, I really can't imagine a world where she watches this. Uh, she probably might. I think once it gets, like, more traction, she might tune in. Once she, when she realizes that, that you're up next... Right. That you're up next. That I'm to, up. Yeah. We up. That we up. What? <laughs> See, all, and, and I don't blame her. Like, people, people don't pay attention to you until you're up. Yeah. But you're not up until people pay attention to you. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of a, an up paradox. I know. You gotta, you gotta start an OnlyFans. I have an OnlyFans. Follow me on OnlyFans, Sean Riley Comedy. Oh, yeah? Yeah. But I did a taping. Watch my taping. I did an OnlyFans. Yeah, yeah, I saw the LMA. -O LMA -O -F. Yeah. Um, shout out to OnlyFans for giving me Ukrainian whore money to do 10 minutes of comedy. OnlyFans gave me 10 minutes, 10, $4,000. What? They pay, OnlyFans paid me 10, OnlyFans paid me $4,000 to do a 10 minute taping. What? Yes. Four grand. Are you allowed to talk about that? Mm, yeah. I didn't okay. sign an NDA. Oh, great. I don't give a fuck. I'll say it, dude. Matt, we called a lawyer yesterday without their consent. That, you think I give that, a fuck about what I'm allowed to talk is, about? That is true. You <laughs> did. You do have. Yeah, yeah. That's. I was. I've. Guys, this whole production. Let me just take the pull the curtain back. This whole production is funded by money I got that OnlyFans made off of a Ukrainian 14 year old mm. on OnlyFans. Mm -hmm. I am a pedophile elite. <laughs> Good. No, but like. I think I think OnlyFans is actually a a, a, a London based company. That mm, that checks out. And they op and so here's what they're trying to do. Um, what they're doing is they're trying to expand. So what? they're a porn business, right? They're in the business of porn. Yeah, they they want to diversify so that they're not just so that they can get like ad space and other stuff. I imagine they want to make their content more ad friendly. Yeah. So what they're doing, you're exactly right, is they have. Their existing business unit, pornography. Mm -hmm. Imagine saying that. Imagine like being like, I work in pornography. I, I jack off to porn, but like, <sighs> I don't, I'm like, I would never associate with anyone that's like into, into porn. Like, 
I don't even. I did. A, I, I guess I'm like I kind of even, a hypocrite because I, I don't even like to talk to guys that like try and bring up porn too often in conversation. Yeah, dude. That, like, that's, that's a red flag. Yeah, I don't. I don't. Not to be like every other comedy podcast talking about red flags, but that's a red flag. Wow, that's what you should turn red this flag. into. You should turn this into like <laughs> a sassy like. The, this is this is what we're not doing. This is what we're not doing. You need to have like three yeah. compartmentalized, three. dude. Honestly, I think that would be a fun bit if you a fun segment. If you like did ten minutes every episode of like just dunking on like of like uh like a lister gossip that doesn't have to do with like government overthrowings or <laughs> like whistleblowers. Hey, they're intertwined, Matt. Wake up. And there you go. But maybe maybe. Maybe lean into like the, so. What, so what you're saying is like put a little like more effort into the show. No, 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 put no. Put a little no, bit more no, effort no, no. into the show. Put is what you're saying. But different effort okay. into the show. <laughs> but different effort. Do like who who's dating who this week, and yeah. why is that a problem? We should like every episode should we should do one TMZ story. Yes, that'd be fun. We'll put a pin in that. We'll do a TMZ story this week. Mm -hmm. Um, but uh, anyway, we lost. I, I lost track. So. Boeing, I don't know, man. I mean, uh, so the so the, here we go. The FA, the Association of Flight Attendants, said clear air turbulence is virtually undetectable with current technology. One second you're cruising smoothly, the next passengers, crew, and unsecured carts or other items are being thrown around the cabin. You know when you know when you like see an airplane, like all these videos, you see these videos of turbulence happening, and then the. Uh, you know, you put the luggage above above in the cabin when the turbulence happens, all the cabin doors fly open like they're not even locked. That I isn't that I've, retarded. I have I have seen that before. And those can kill people. Well, it's also they're heavy. They're like heavy, like doors too to like push up. No, I know. Like I've. That, I will, so why does it fly out so easily? Last flight I was on, I, I watched this guy, like, luckily he was a big guy with, like, long arms, so he kind of could do it. But, like, they kept opening right as we were about to land. Jesus Christ. And, you know, like, those are, like, they can be, like, up to, like, 25, 30-pound bags ahead of you. And if they're dropping on your head, like, that could, I don't think it'll kill you. But it'll fuck you up. It'll fuck you up, for sure. Dude, I mean, honestly, I've, like, my bags, like, are... 40, 50 pounds sometimes with all my equipment um, and all the like kidneys and livers that I have to traffic to different locations. You can make a lot of money doing that. Yeah, you can. Um, you can also make a lot of money shilling, shilling for OnlyFans, mm -hmm. which I did. That's good. Um, but uh, <laughs> am I going to hell? Yes. That's not good. I mean, you're not religious. I know, but like, hell is real. There's some people believe that just heaven's real. I just believe in hell. Either you go away and... I believe either you go away and nothing happens after you die and you just cease to exist. Or I believe that you the burn. Christian devil <laughs> tortures you for eternity. Is there a religion for that? Yeah. Like, I'm an atheist, but I just believe in hell. Yeah. I, th I mean, I think I that believe in the devil, but not God. I think that's what people mean when they're agnostic is it's not that they're like, they're not agnostic for the, for the case that maybe there's a heaven, right? They're agnostic because maybe there's a case for hell. And they're like, I really don't want to deal with that. Yeah. So maybe, maybe there's something. And just in case there is, please don't send me to hell. I think that's what most, I mean, that's any case that I've ever had for uh, being agnostic has been mostly for that. If there is a hell, yeah. which is just like a thing that lives in your conscience a little bit, I don't, I don't want to deal with that. Yeah, I mean, I'm I don't like a fence sitter. I don't like, I don't like agnostics. I really don't like, like have a like have a take, have a take on, have a take. That's all I'm saying. What's it, your it, what's your what's your take on all those Boeing stuff? On 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 the Boeing stuff, I think I think. I think the whistleblowers are burning in hell for being for being for, uh, disloyal for not being company guys. Yeah, the Boeing the Boeing whistleblowers may they rest in piss are burning in hell because they they uh, they went against gang. 
And that's what you hate. You hate when <laughs> you hate when motherfuckers go against gang. When when the when when motherfuckers I'm like the most Brooklyn guy ever. When motherfuckers excuse me, when motherfuckers go against a gang, retribution follows. Mm-hmm. Speak. When preach. When motherfuckers go against gang. <laughs> there you go. Y'all <laughs> Y'all ain't hearing me. Mm-hmm. Y'all ain't hearing me. Mm-hmm. When motherfuckers, <laughs> um, you know, it's. What do you think's I, going on? Why is all this happening? Do you think? Well, well, it's it's it's. I think it's it's very. It's actually a very simple story. Boeing used to be a company that was run by engineers. That's simple. And those engineers retired, or they died, or they were pushed out by uh mba grads uh mba standing for management masters in business administration so the engineers that used to be the ceos and the cto and the vps and the and the sales guys were replaced by mbas mckinsey consultants jp morgan uh alumni alumnus so when you have when you have a company like boeing being run by JP Morgan alumnus that do coke five times a day and rape their girlfriends. You think you're going to build a safe plane? You think you think JP Morgan MBA uh, McKinsey alumnus that date rape people at uh, in Manhattan are going to run a a safe safely operate and build and operate planes safely? You're wrong. You're a dumbass. If you think that. And so now all of these whistleblowers, the few engineers like myself that are left at that company, they see all the JP Morgan coke addicted rapists at the helm and they don't like it. And they stood up. And when you go against a gang, you best believe that we're going to fuck you up. Wow. When you go against a gang, <laughs> what? <laughs> you, you can't like... I'm a I'm such a TikTok retard. You can't let gang can't can't let gang know I whistle blue. Yeah. <laughs> can't let gang know I whistle blue uh against the Boeing uh manufacturing quality. <laughs> Does Okay, we'll we'll lean into the TikTok. Does Boeing still have Riz? Boeing Boeing has lots of Riz. Boeing Probably still, more Riz. Boeing has more Riz. Yeah, because what's more exciting than being on a plane that might crash? That's Riz. I don't think that's <laughs> I'll be honest. I'll be honest, dog. Crashing on a plane is sus. <laughs> That's sus to me. Uh, yeah, plum, plummeting a thou- plummeting a mile in three minutes is is um. So you think that's what it, it's it's people? It's just incompetence has gotten sort of filled in from what was there before, and now people are like speaking. It. Okay, and so then. You're saying, and maybe that's why, like, the planes are fucking up more, and people are like less uh, focused on the engineering of the planes itself, and more about like just churning them out. I would say, I would say that's true. I mean, the other thing that you have to remember is like Boeing used to be a massive conglomerate that had lots of business units, um, and and oh, had a lot of production in house. They 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 built the wings. They built the wheels. They built the, uh, Is that not the landing case? gear. That's not the case anymore. No, there's been a lot of um. Actually, let's look. Let's look this up. Just type in Boeing divestiture. And so a divestiture is simply you know when a when a when a company sells off one of its business units. And so what Boeing has done over the last 10, 15 years is they've sold off parts of itself. Because guess that's what these MBA rapists like think is good for the business. Should I look on macro trends? Do you uh, think? Yeah, whatever. They'll just be. They'll probably just a list of the um, 2010 to 2024. Yeah, let's see what they've sold. So Boeing, the reason it's fucking up is because they've sold off. They've cannibal. It's the the Boeing cannibalized itself, and they sold off um, parts of the business and outsourced outsourced. It's just outsourcing. So let's. Uh, are, do you see any there that they've that they've sold recently, or maybe in the last ten years? Um, where would I look? Uh, I have. Let's see. What do the tabs there say? 
prices, financials, revenue and profit, assets and liabilities, margins, price ratios, other ratios, other metrics. Uh, I feel like I'm looking for like, uh, I want like a pie chart to yeah. see. Is that a, what is that? Is that a list right there? This is stock name, country, market cap. No, go back. Yeah, that's that's not the right. Yeah. Uh, Maybe look up images. Here oh, we go. Here we that's go. a good chart. There we go. Let's click on that. This is like, oh, damn. There's no, like, cool. there's like should... a dozen different companies involved now. I know. So, uh, yeah, maybe we could actually, I, I could buy a TV. We could get a TV in here so we can look at stuff. But, uh, yeah, what's the chart say? Um, so, this is like showing Boeing and all of its like subsidiary businesses. So, Google Cloud is part of it. Tidelift, Julia Hub. So, that's like all the digital infrastructure. Defense systems is like ESG. Uh, shift five. Um, I think that might be its cost or like its customers. Let me see here. Um, uh, uh, let me see here. Yeah, here's one. Um, so, uh, where are you looking? Uh, wow, these links are so unhelpful. Yeah, I Sorry. like, I just, no, I just know you're, guys. I, I'm looking for something that just gives me like a clear cut. Oh, here's Wikipedia. Um, so let's see here. Um, I mean, this says critics argue that the company's once sterling safety reputation was tarnished in its ill advised 1997 merger with McDonnell Douglas. Um, yeah, there was, there's a particular one that I'm looking for, but anyway, uh, without getting too much in the weeds, like, you know, it pretty much, uh, sold off, um, uh, it's sold. Oh, actually the main one I was looking at spirit aero systems. So Boeing, if you look up spirit aero systems, Boeing, uh, this is a company that basically what they did is, um, Oh, here I got. Hold on. So I just looked up. It's called spinoff. A divestiture is the fancy word, but a mm -hmm. spinoff is the other way to say it. So as of right now, um, institutional investors own sixty one point six seven percent, and uh, individual investors and public companies own forty point three nine percent. Insiders own zero point eight six percent of the company. So Vanguard Group okay owns. 8% of shares. BlackRock owns 37 million shares. I don't know what that percentage is. I don't know why they didn't list that. Um, Newport Trust Company, 5%. State Street Corporation, 5%. Just a bunch of uh, asset yeah, managers. for sure. So, um, so, and that's that's actually another issue. So, what, how, what percent is owned by insiders? Point something? Uh, point 0.86. So, no, yeah. So, that's so what happened that's that's an uh, that's evidence of like all the like people that's the people that started the company almost none of it no one house. none of the employees own the company and so when you and when you don't own something you're not going to be in, as invested as the owner um in making it good right well, i think more than anything i mean you know finance better than i do but i feel like if you're it's the people who have money in the game that are making the decisions it's the same reason, like, the owner of a restaurant makes all the decisions when it comes to, like, buying shit and selling. Like, it's all, even if, like, the employees and the manager are, like, the ones making it run, they're not in charge of, like, whether or not they get good plates or 100%. silverware or, like... When, well, and so so much, so many businesses, so much of the world, is uh, it's operated by owners that are just so it's they don't they maybe they built it and they stopped caring or they inherited it and so they don't really care and they may not even know about the operations of the business i mean how many times have you talked to someone or have you been in a situation where like you are in the weeds working on something and you know you know immediately how to make that thing better but then the, then your next thought is well i'm not going to bother telling the boss because he doesn't give a shit mm -hmm. what i think so I'll just do it the wrong way. 
And that's how our airplanes are being made now. Mm. And that's it, what these whistleblowers are doing. Because it's 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 different when it's a fucking pizza a pizza restaurant or um I don't know. Yeah, it's a not, sho- shoes. Yeah. Like this is like life or death shit. And so when you have things that are being built shot like shod- shoddily, shoddy aircraft. Shouty. Shouty aircraft. Yeah, there you go. Play with Saudi that. aircraft. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm a rapper now. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, obviously there's gonna be people that wanna tell the world about it. Um and uh, you know, it's so you have none of the employees own stock, number one. That's number one. So they're not, they don't not no one's really financially incentivized to make the company better because I don't I don't own stock. Why why am I gonna bother? I'll just collect my paycheck and call it a day and shut my ears to everything that's going on. Number two, Boeing spun off uh, Spirit Aerosystems. So so basically, Boeing owned a unit that manufactured certain parts. I don't know what Spirit Aerosystems makes. They spun it off, and so now it's its own, it's its own separate business, right? Um, and then Boeing became a customer. Mm. But what happens when you have that is you have... Uh, and the idea, these MBA JP Morgan assholes, the, they think, oh, this will be good. Instead of building this stuff in-house, we'll spin off the business unit and make become a customer of that business unit. And we'll get a better, our, our pricing will be more competitive because that business will have to compete with other businesses in that supply chain. Mm. That's the idea. And it sounds good. Sounds like a good idea. But the nature of building airplanes is just such that it's good to have things in one building. Yeah, uniform and like concise, put together. Everyone sort of knows what's going on with the plane. From the start to the finish. Yeah. So what's happened is Boeing has become this like assembler of airplanes. They just kind of put everything together at the end versus what they used to be, which was rigorous manufacturing of every single thing. You know? Um. And so that's really my read on like what, how we got to where we are. Um, and uh, I'm pretty excited about it as a shareholder. <laughs> For what it um, could mean for the future. And it's like, um, oh, and the other thing, let's, I, w- I want to talk about this. Share, like shareholder buybacks. Have you heard of shareholder buybacks? I've heard of it. So, so shareholder buybacks, all these pussy liberals want shareholder buybacks to be banned. They think they're evil and they're bad. Shareholder buybacks are great for the shareholders. Are they good for the business? Maybe. Are they good for the stock price? You fucking bet they are. And if, 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 um, but it's not even that, like, I think a lot, a lot of stuff, a lot of financial concepts are sold to Gen Z as these evil things. BlackRock is sold to Gen Z as this evil monolith that's going to kill you. Mm -hmm. BlackRock's buying single family homes. BlackRock doesn't want, BlackRock doesn't want you to own anything. How about you hustle a little bit? There you go. (laughs) (laughs) How about you learn the little, the slightest bit of, of investing knowledge? Yeah. How about you grab your bootstraps yeah. and you pull yourself up, mm-hmm. buy your bootstraps. My dad owns two houses. You think and I you- just walked into that? <laughs> you think I just walked into it? You think I was born into a situation <laughs> where my dad owns two homes? No, I didn't. I was born and he had one. And now then he, he has- got another one. There's, yes. He became, he retired and he got another one. Mm-hmm. You think, you think that I'm just, I just... That just happened? No, I had to stay alive while he was alive. <laughs> and then that way he has two houses and you might get them one day. <laughs> <laughs> if he doesn't fuck me. That's true. He could fuck me and donate it to Boeing or something. Because your dad loves Boeing. My so. dad could donate all of the money to uh, a nonprofit. Um, Are you allowed to, do you know if you're allowed, if I'm like, hey, I'm dying, I want to give my, my, your trail mix and blueberries, I want to give my trail mix, I want to give my (laughs) $9,000 to Boeing, can I do that? 
I don't think I can don't, I do that in a will? No, I don't think you could just gift money to a company. Maybe you can. I don't know. That's actually now that I think about it, that's a pretty scary idea. What? If 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 uh if businesses could start like maybe trying to pitch you on like if if businesses were like, we'll give you deals, but then when you die, you give us the rest of your money. <laughs> I feel like there's a dystopian future where they like try and like hook you, like hook you in, hook desperate people in for like groceries or something. But then when you die, it's like, yeah, it's all ours. That's just called being in a, being a, a blue collar American. Mm. That's what, I, that's actually just what you just described is the pension system. <laughs> facts they they give you money until you die and when you die then the the powers that be stop your family from getting life insurance or fuck they fuck you but um you got hairy arms dude i got hairy legs wow yeah. you might be the only man with hairier arms and legs than me yeah i'm i'm you're uh, a hairy guy dude i'm a hairy guy sorry to, to <laughs> Vert you're not you're not the first person to notice that like mid conversation just to be like hmm if I was gay I would I I'm not saying I would have sex with you but I'm saying you think that you'd I go think, for Harry I, I think you being you Harry I think you would go for smooth like uh like twink I think I think I feel you like would, I'm a twink though yeah but are you gonna go bear yeah and see this is what I'm talking this is what we talk about. <laughs> on the shitty podcast this is <laughs> is squirt piss is squirt piss there you go look transitioning look, from an hour of boeing whistleblower <laughs> to guys is squirt piss <laughs> so is squirt piss what is a shareholder buyback it's basically when you when you decide that squirt is piss mm -hmm. and uh it's um um you know is I baby gronk the new riz king <laughs> Baby Gronk, uh, did baby was Baby Gronk killed by the Rizzler? <laughs> I think you know who you know who's behind the Boeing whistleblower deaths. The, the Rizzler. The Rizzler. The Rizzler killed the Rizzler killed Baby Gronk and the Boeing whistleblowers. And do you think Boeing is still skibbity and or valid? <laughs> <laughs> is Boeing skibbity? Is a good question. Uh, I think Boeing is um, Boeing is Boeing is giving. What is Boeing giving? Boeing. Boeing is giving desperate. Mm. Boeing is giving cringe. Yes. Boeing is giving cringe. Boeing is giving um T. Boeing here here's the T. Here's the T. Uh Okay, everyone, here's the T. Boeing is giving cringe and uh the Rizzler killed the Rizzler killed the Boeing whistleblowers. There you go. I think the whistleblowers are um not skibbity. <laughs> You can only do that for like twelve seconds before it becomes awful. No, I think I think saying the what other Gen Z language can we throw in? I, that's that's all the Gen Z language I know. You have skibbity, Riz, Bet, Bet, Bussin. Valid, Bussin. Um, oh, guys, uh, the whistleblower deaths really hit different. They really hit different. Yo, that hits different. Vibing, bruh, slay. We got to do like a Gen Z. That's slay. We got to do like a Gen Z bingo card <laughs> that you try and hit every episode. Yeah, and that's if you funny. hit it, then something happens. I kill myself, but yeah. Boeing kills myself. <laughs> I, got, I I, I want to kill myself. I want Boeing to kill myself. That's kind of like what happened. Sort of death by cop, but death by Boeing whistleblower. I Yeah, I, I think all these whistleblowers, that's a great, that's a great point. These whistleblowers, they... Even if they were technically killed by Boeing, it sort of was a suicide by cop. What do you? Because although the cops kill the guy, it's suicide by cop. Because like any normal person is going to know that they're going to be murdered if they run towards a cop. So that's what these whistleblowers did. These whistleblowers ran. They by telling people about Boeing, they ran at Boeing. They were tired of living. Yeah, they were over it. If you. And that's what I'm saying. Whistleblowing probably makes you very depressed. Yeah. And that's the, that's sort of the story that they want us to believe is that whistleblowing makes you sad and suicidal. Like talking about your former employer makes you sad. Mm. That's like the story. And then mm -hmm. so you kill yourself or you get sick. You get really Whistleblowing sick. makes you infected. Yes. It's like, okay. 
but something has to change. Uh, I, 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 that's enough Boeing talk. Mm -hmm. I think we should, we should move on. Um, to another air, to another aircraft manufacturer, helicopters. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what kind of helicopter it was? Uh, I don't know. We should look that up, um, guys. If you, if you if you have if you if you live under a rock, the Iranian president is dead. Hit it, Matt. Ba 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 da 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 na 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 na. Hey. Well, no, you know, Iran Iran funds Hamas. Uh, I didn't know that. Yeah, Iran supplies weapons to Hamas, and the Iranian. So the thing is. I didn't even know the name of the Iranian president two days ago until he was killed in a helicopter crash. And if that's what it takes for me to become famous, maybe I will die in a helicopter crash. You said the same thing about Kobe Bryant. You didn't I, know who he was till the crash, <laughs> right? You didn't. If you show me a photo of Kobe's face, I'm going to be totally real. I would be like, I don't know. I know he plays basketball. I don't know his name. Mm -hmm. And the helicopter if crash. You, if you were going to show me Kobe's face, I don't know his name. <laughs> No, but you know, you know what I mean. Like, no, um, I got you. Uh, that's an, that's another cringe comedy podcast topic. Yo, who's the goat? Who's the basketball goat? Who's the basketball goat? Yeah, that's that's goaded. That's another. Yo, goated. Boeing is goaded. Boeing is goaded with you know the who, sauce. Boeing is goaded with the sauce. Uh, and uh, you know, it was low key sus, Matt, mm. when the Iranian president, uh, Ibrahim. <laughs> Ibrahim Raisi. Um, Ibrahim Raisi was killed in a helicopter crash. Mm -hmm. uh, my first question, of course, was the CIA involved? Was the CIA involved in uh, the killing of the Iranian president? Because you know it wasn't an accident. I mean, did you see? I mean, the. I think people here's. I think people are are a little too overzealous with helicopters. I think is my take. Okay. I think people like like too excited about being on them. Uh, I think people think helicopters are are better flying machines than they are. I totally agree. I th I think I think it's haphazard. I think uh, I think the propeller is silly. <laughs> I think it's I think it's a goofy mode of travel. It is go it is silly. And it's think, kind of got a cartoon vibe to it. And to think that like essentially like a pod with a propeller is going to be able to handle like winds and rains as as well as you think it I I just think I'm out, I'm out on helicopters. I don't think I'm a helicopter guy. You're not a helicopter guy. Mm -mm. If I offered you a helicopter ride for free to uh Key West would you take it? Florida? Yeah. No. <laughs> I can't think of... I don't even think helicopters go that far. What's the long... Let's look up the Let's longest... Let's look up helicopter range. Yeah. Because the Iranian president was on like a multiple hundred mile trip in his helicopter. Just take a... I mean, you're the son of the supreme leader. Just take a flight at that point, right? Yeah. Well, was, I don't think he's the son of the supreme leader, is he? Yeah. What? Because the supreme leader is Ayatollah. I don't know if the the president is was Ayatollah. Hold on. I... No, he's one below. He's one below. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Powerful. Max, do you want to jump on here and give us? You sound oh, like he's a, not. I, he's not the son. He's not the son. But it's sorry that brought. I've misread that. Brought up questions about the country's leadership because his son, like like around the son of the supreme leader, like they were saying that the, one below in 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 a status. In the hierarchy, you meant? Uh, yes. Also, average helicopter range is 200 to 800 miles. 200 to 800? Mm -hmm. It's a big-ass range. Yeah. It's a big-ass range. 800 miles? I wouldn't want to go more than 50 miles in a helicopter. Yeah, I, I'd say... Let's see. Let's see if the helicopter... I mean, people already made the obvious joke, which is that hel the helicopter was made by Boeing. Uh, but let's see who, who made the helicopter. I want to see here. So Iran's Supreme leader led tens of thousands in the morning at a grand funeral in the capital Tehran on Wednesday for the country's late president, foreign minister and others killed in a helicopter crash. Ayatollah Ali 
It was a Khamenei. bell. It was a bell two one two. A bell. A bell. Oh, I know a bell. Mm-hmm. Oh, bell. Bell. See, why is no one talking about bell? I think because I think because people realize that you got to be care- more careful with a helicopter. And so it's not Bell's fault. So it's Boeing's fault that the planes crash. Mm-hmm. But when it comes to helicopters, it's not the it's not Bell's fault. You got to know what you're getting into with the helicopter. Yeah, because the blades are silly. It's stupid. <laughs> helicopters. It's a, it's if you go. Here's my take. Here's my mm-hmm. eighth take. It's if you go in a helicopter, it's giving God complex. Mm-hmm. It's giving narcissism. Yeah, it's, you. It's giving. Uh, Helicopter rides feel like um <laughs> I've never been on one. If it, Have you been on one? No. Uh going on a on a helicopter ride feels very like uh I'm I'm daddy's special boy coded. <laughs> coded. That's coded, a, there we go. Yeah. See? Daddy's special boy coded. It it, it, it does. It, it's like I I get this is cuz it's the it's one of it's it's the limousine ride of air travel. Right. It's the limousine of the sky. It's the limousine of the sky. And it's the only way to get home on the 405 in a normal amount of time. Am I right, people? That's when we would use a soundboard. Burr, 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 burr. See? We get those mixed in. Also, I think every time you have a take, it's like a Sean's take. Sean, 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 Sean's take. I hit that button. I love it. I hit that button a couple times. Sean. Sean's take. Mm -hmm. That's funny. That's smart. Mm -hmm. Uh, This is why this is why you got me on. That's why I keep you around. I'm I'm the vision guy. You're the vision guy. You're the idea guy. You're gonna be a star kid. You're gonna be everything. (laughs) You're You're gonna take helicopter rides, and you're gonna. You're, you're gonna, gonna meet, die just like the president. Oh. You're gonna meet this. You're gonna meet the Ayatollahs. Mm-hmm. You're gonna interview the Ayatollahs someday. Oh man, they would not get along with you. I don't think. I feel like the Ayatollahs would like me because I'm real. You know? No, they would chop me up and f- put me in a fucking vat of chemicals. Do see? I don't know if they're the kind of guys that like people to keep it real with them. <laughs> I think they. I think they would prefer agreeable. No, I think you're wrong about that, Matt, because supreme leaders of Arab countries, they love Western entertainment and they love Western celebrity. Saudi Arabia, they have live golf. Mm -hmm. They have their own golf team. Like they want to be like the West. Saudi Arabia wants to be me, but they'll never be me. They'll never be me. They should be themselves and not me. Mohammed bin Salman wants to be me. Because I'm real. I. Okay. I want to go hang out. Can I hang out with Mohammed bin Salman? Can I hang out with the Ayatollahs? Like, can I get over there? Uh, it says here that you you <laughs> definitely can't. That's just what, that's just what my screen. That's says. what it's, that's what the laptop says. They, it says they, I can't. They the Ayatollah says Sean Riley's not valid. Damn actually, it. fuck. They say you have no riz. <laughs> And that you're that you're <laughs> that your skibbity's all out of whack. <laughs> you know, uh, in the Quran, it actually says that uh, the sk- skibbity is thou, is thou shalt skibbity. Allah, Allah is is goaded. Mm-hmm. The Quran actually says that Allah is that I, that I can get behind. <laughs> uh, in the Quran, it actually says that the Arabs shall return to Mecca, and that the, they shall pray um, until they reach skibbity. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Um, if you don't know any of these words, this this I bet you've already turned the show off, which is fine. Uh, so let's see here. I wanted to read some of this stuff here. Um, so let me bring it. Let me bring it back. The president of Iran died in a helicopter crash, shocking, and people carried the coffin of his coffin out on their shoulders with chants outside "Death to America." What did, we, uh, and this, what did we do? His his funeral his funeral uh, reportedly uh, so this is in um, this was in um, in Lower Manhattan where his funeral took place. <laughs> there were chants outside. Uh, everyone was screaming "Death to America!" Outside is this, in, is in, this in, fi, re- in Fi Die. Is this real, Sean? <laughs> um, I- they loaded them onto a semi truck trailer for a procession through downtown Tehran to Bushwick or Freedom Square where Ricey gave speeches in the past. Um, 
So it's 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 one of those things where it's like um it's 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 a uh, wow, look at this photo. We'll drop in this photo. Let me make a note. We'll drop in the photo. Um look at this funeral, bro. Damn. Big ass funeral. That's great. See, it, if you have a funeral where there's like 10,000 people there, you're either a mass murderer or you're a celebrity. Hmm. Like if you have a funeral and your funeral has 10,000 people at it, it's yeah. probably not on. It's probably honestly, you probably did not live a noble life. Yeah, something bad happened. Something You did something bad. Were Michael they, Jackson, Steve Jobs. You they, did something bad. Were you joking when they said death to America? Uh, I wasn't joking about that part. They really did say death to America. See, guys, I really don't think this one's on us. <laughs> I think, I think, I think on this one, America's playing fair. <laughs> I, th I think it's I th I think it's legitimately the helicopter, and honestly, I think I think maybe it's just not as exciting as we want it to be. <laughs> Dude, it's actually yeah, it's it's we're being blamed for something that we didn't do. Guys, come on, everything's our fault. Every e come everything. on, everything is Bell an American company? Yes. Did Bell create a faulty mechanism in the helicopter that killed the president of Iran, Iran, Iran? Yes. Bro, it says that there was mountainous fog. Mountainous fog? America that's, didn't make that mountain, mountainous fog. That's wa that's water, man. <laughs> that's wa water. You think America has control over the weather in Iran? No. Come on, they guys. Don't. They don't. Come on, so, guys. Uh, it's, I don't know. I really, like... It was a cloudy day. It was. It's, hey, can we, like, do we not learn from Kobe? If you pressure the pilot to fly a helicopter through dense fog in the mountains, you are wishing for your own death. Mm -hmm. If you want to fly a helicopter on a foggy day. Wait, I got another Gen Z tap in go, right here. Tap in. One on one. One on one, uh, you score it, you keep it. Who wins one on one, Kobe or the former president of Iran? As far as like basketball, basketball, who wins one on one? I thought you meant who was more likely to survive their helicopter crash. Well, I don't think they're neither of no, them are neither better. of them. Yeah, how about this one on one Bell helicopter manufacturers, Kobe Bryant? One on one, should I look up Kobe Bryant's yeah. helicopter? Look up, look up, look up. The manufacturer who made the helicopter that killed Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant. Because I want to know. Was um, it Bell? It was a Sikorsky S76. Lockheed Sikorsky. Martin Blackhawk manufacturer. Kobe Bryant flew in a Blackhawk? That's like a military helicopter. That's why you can't get in, in these helicopters, folks. I know that no one is in the tax bracket to be flying helicopters if you listen to this. I know that the people that listen to this cannot, have never... The people that listen to this can't afford to go coach, let alone fly in a helicopter. Yeah. But if you ever get the chance to find a helicopter, maybe just don't do it. Maybe your life is more important than a 20-minute journey where you can see some cool sea birds. Like, that's... It's crazy. You can get a helicopter for as low as six hundred thousand dollars. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. You could get that instead of a house. You could live in the helicopter. Wait, so a down payment on a helicopter would be like what two hundred thousand? Sounds about right. I want to. I want to meet. I want to. Oh shit! I'm getting excited. <laughs> I want to meet a guy who does helicopter financing. I want to meet a guy. You know, like used car salesman, put mm -hmm. a deal together and give you a shitty interest rate. Mm -hmm. Like I want to meet a sleazy used helicopter salesman. Yeah, who shows up and he's like, "Hey, how you doing? I can get you in a hell. I can get you in a Blackhawk today." He's in zero he's down, in oversized khakis. Yeah. and a shitty tie. Yes, <laughs> that's I like that. I he's, like that a lot. He's like he's like on coke, but like he's like doesn't think he's an addict, but he is. Mm -hmm. And he's just like, "Hey, how you doing? This is great for your family." He uses it like coffee. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like he's like doesn't really try to hide it. Like, that's, like, how much he does coke. He doesn't even try to hide it. His family has, like, he doesn't have a good family life, and he, he wants to make a deal with you. I want to meet a guy that does used helicopter sales and beats his wife, and he wants to get a deal done now. Mm-hmm.
<laughs> where where is this helicopter company? Uh, I don't know. Probably probably Manhattan. Maybe Key West. I, this I feel feels like, more Florida. I feel this like, feels like this feels like more trash money. Yeah, yeah. Like people, people who like, like there's money there, but they're not. They don't come from good. They're not good people. They're second generation immigrants. <laughs> they love money because <laughs> those and, aren't good. Second generation immigrants. Those are bad people. <laughs> Now, when you get to third or fourth, now we're talking. Mm -hmm. No, I, I think um, uh, it's it's always sad when someone dies. But yeah, you're right, Matt. Like death, like they also said death to Israel. I think I think the people, I think people just need an excuse to gather nowadays. And so, really, they should be thanking the U.S. for the gathering. I mean, yeah, I mean, I well, I think when something like this happens, like if you, wow, I almost said something very racist. No, don't do that. <laughs> I was basically going to say, no, when you get, come on, <laughs> when you get 10,000 people in Iran together, mm -hmm. they're bound to scream death to America. Was that racist? <sighs> Given yes, probably given the context, I it was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Okay, I thought it was going to be worth. I mean, given Just the con like given the context and all all the historical stuff behind it, I think. Do I think it was us? I don't think it was us. Do I think they have decent reason to believe it was us? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I bet you most. And don't get me wrong. When you get ten thousand Americans in a room, in a field. They're going to scream death to... I mean, they're going to listen to Zach Bryan. Uh, <laughs> they're going to listen to Morgan Wallen. They're going to they're gonna hang out. You got 10,000... They're going to talk about Drake and Kendrick. And they're going to be safe with guns. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, man. It's, it's really hard to like... It's, it's, it's really hard to make a light of a situation where an Iran Iranian leader died horrifically. But I'm going to do my best. Um, it's... I think I you know who killed the Iranian president? Curiosity. Curiosity. The Curiosity Mar the rover. Mm -hmm. The Curiosity rover remotely was controlling that helicopter and killed the Iranian president. But a bunch of, a bunch of other people died too. Like eight people died, right? Something like that. So do you what's what's your let's let's get a final Sean's take. What do you, what is your takeaway from all this? Uh, I mean, it's, it's, Do you I ran, think there's foul play. There's no foul play. Iran is one of the best theocracies in, in the world right now. They're a top theocracy. And, um, I, I have a lot of respect for my Islamic brothers and sisters. I really do. I truly do. And, and it's all love. Like when the Iranian president died, I, I wasn't happy. I was maybe horny. His his death aroused me. I wanted maybe to blow a load onto his dead fit corpse. No, come on. <laughs> he he he's a nice guy. He, was he a nice guy? He was not a nice guy. What, what this you, is a guy. What did that, he do wrong? I'm pretty sure he executed like a little girl who wanted to be a singer. It's a dumb dream. <laughs> it's not a singer. There we go. A singer? It is a dumb dream. Fuck that girl. No. Okay. No. She she didn't know better. Um it's a stupid dream. What that'd be so funny if the president of Iran, it wasn't because he like he was like, "Oh, you're showing your face. You're going against the Quran." Did he really do that? I feel He's so, like, I feel so kill... ignorant. Did he really? No, look it up. But I th well, let's look it up. But he said, he said, uh, I, I think he killed her. He was like, I'm not. He's like, B before he killed her, he was like, by the way, I'm not killing you because you go what you're what you're doing goes against Islam and the Quran. I'm killing you because you're bad at singing. Is the president of Iran good or bad? Um, Can you look up president of Iran XXX sexy nude? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> what does it say? Can you look up? I'm going to look it up too. I'm pretty sure the president of Iran murdered a little girl. 
and I could be paraphrasing there, but I'm pretty sure that's what happened. Um, president of Iran killed girl. I'm pretty sure he did. Uh, let's see here. I'm trying to find it. I, I thought. See, no, this is you're trying to. I'm, I'm trying to slander you're him. You're trying to slander him. He's a nice guy. Oh, I found it. Oh, death. <laughs> <laughs> death of Masa Amini. Ready? On 16th of Am September, 2022, a 22 year old Iranian woman, Masa Amini, also known as Gina Amini, died in a hospital in Tehran under suspicious circumstances. Okay. Um, Eyewitnesses, including women who were detained with Amini, reported that she was severely beaten and that she died result of police brutality, which was denied by the Iranian authorities. Uh, so she had a cerebral cerebral hemorrhage, a brain, a brain, brain bleeding. She died of brain bleeding. Uh, and um, the, Amini's death resulted in a series of protests described by CNN, fake news CNN, as more widespread than the protests in 2009, 17, and 19. Uh, was she a singer? I don't even know. Or was she just a woman? <laughs> I think I made up that she was a singer. Because <laughs> it, made, it, made, it made it feel like she had a dream. I wanted to empower her mm -hmm. and make her feel like an underdog whose flame was snuffed out. Damn. Um. All right, this so, is making this is making anyway, me sad. We'll now. move on. I'm, I I regret joking that he might have been a, a nice guy. <laughs> uh, what um, do you? What's let's Sean? We got a. Uh, let's we close got, it out. Let's close it out with what's some this? Scarlett Johansson and Open A on a lighter note. On a lighter note, ScarJo was stolen from. That stinks. So um. So again, I always I always try to talk about. Oh wait, before our last story, I want to answer. I did get a question from my Facebook group. I always mm -hmm. I got to do better and start answering these questions. Thank you for asking a question. By the way, um, I really appreciate it. This one's from William. Have you ever been hassled by the Foot Clan or met the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles yet since you've moved to New York? William, thanks for the question. I have not met TMNT. Um, I have seen a lot of. Uh, Rats. So I've, I met the the I met Grandmaster uh, Splinter. Splinter. I met Grandmaster Splinter, and we went out. We went we went we went clubbing. It was dope. Who? Which group in New York do you think is closest to the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Riz wise? <laughs> okay. You don't um, you no, no, no. <laughs> that was amazing. That was an amazing question. <laughs> I'm gonna say. Uh, the NYPD dance team. Yeah. Which I did a whole episode on. Yeah, that they, they're great. The NYPD, if you watch my old watch it, it's like episode whatever, 30 something. The NYPD has a dance team and they have comparable riz to TMNT. Who are they dancing? Are they dancing against people? No, but I was they just I, they just have a they've got it's a recreational dance team. They've got a troop. And I was uh, I played a character where I was like I wanna I was like I was like I want I was like let me coach the d dance team. That's the episode. Let me coach the NYPD dance team if you want to go check it out. Um, but basically, like they were just like uh, yeah, they were um, just recreationally dancing, and I wanted to go in there and kind of like get light a fire under their ass and be like, guys, we're not going to make it to regionals. The <laughs> the Chicago the LAPD is going to wipe <laughs> the floor with us if we. <laughs> Don't get our shit together. Sally, I, I don't even see you. I don't even see you bouncing that ass. Mm -hmm. If I don't see you throw it back, you're off the team. And you're gonna go have to be go back to murdering black guys all day. Who had a little bit of weed on them. Yeah. Um, so yes, and William, second question. Chicago style pizza or New York? William, I don't know. I'm not David Portnoy. Mm-hmm. I'm not Dave Portnoy. I don't hit my wife. Did he do that? Yes. He shouldn't have done that. Dave Portnoy. Uh, and actually, was it Dave Portnoy or someone else? No, it might have been him. Isn't there like footage, GoPro footage, uh, ring Go ring footage? GoPro footage is crazy. <laughs> POV? Go POV or Dave Portnoy? GoPro footage 
of that is crazy. <laughs> that is it's someone, a Red Bull ad. Yeah. <laughs> the next Red Bull ad should be Dave GoPro someone, footage. Someone with a GoPro on their forehead while he like drunkenly stupors. Home like, from the bar. Yeah, that is wow. I want to, yeah, P, I want POV footage. And then it's like at the end, it's like she's like crying and There's she's like, GoPro calling footage from the like cops. the P. Diddy case. Yeah. 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 It's like, uh, he's like, He's like, he, like you. He, he's like beats up his wife, and then uh, call, the wife is crying and calls the cops, and then it cuts to the Red Bull. Red Bull gives you wings. Red Bull gives you can- handcuffs. Mm-hmm. A, a real, honestly, Red Bull gives you handcuffs. Red That's Bull. really the real honest ad is Red Bull gives you jail. I would like to know the stats on what, like, what the correlation of different non-alcoholic drinks to like violent arrests is red bull is the number one i see i think (laughs) i think monster would be higher monster is a little bit red bull is sort of the gucci of energy drinks it's the most premium in my opinion and monster is trash yeah but that's i i would say that the trash would be in less fortunate situations right I'm, i'm agreeing with you Okay. I think monster is actually mon. It's actually monster. Okay. I think it's coffee monster. I think if you drink if you drink coffee flavored monster energy, you are on your way to catching that? a murder charge. Yep. You want to know why your boy drinks it? Yeah. No, this is good. I think what I'm getting out of the show is it's a lot of me acting like sort of a an unaware aloof sort of secretary at like um like a, a like a military industrial company uh-huh. and you're like saying all this shit and i'm just like what <laughs> well they they did that <laughs> what dude this is it's like a bad date yeah this is like a bad date where the guy works in finance and the girl's the like, leader of a war-torn country wasn't a good guy <laughs> Why did they, why did they, are you saying the president of America is bad, Sean? Wait, wait, what's an interest rate? I don't understand. Why don't they just print more money? Why, I don't understand, like, it seems like people just shouldn't be poor. <laughs> why would they, why would they do that? <laughs> but don't like, they know there's more money out there? Why don't you just get more money? Mm-hmm. Um, but, uh, William, thanks for the questions. I owe you 10 bucks. Shoot me a Venmo. You know my Venmo at this point, William. So thanks for the questions. And honestly, get join the Facebook group. If you're still... I really don't think anyone at this point in the show is still listening. No. <laughs> I think maybe like... I probably would estimate like 50 out of our, all my listeners, probably 50 are still made it all the way through. Mm-hmm. But if you're one of the few that did make it all the way to this point... Go to facebook.com slash groups slash Sean show. I know I push it every episode, but just please join. Whenever someone joins the group, my heart skips a beat. When I get a little notification that says someone joined Sean show, my heart skips a beat because I know that you'll go down with me in the building when we, when I, when, at, the end, at the end of all this. When you plan the group suicide. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, do you want to be a part of the Sean show group suicide? Join the Facebook group. Yeah. Also, if you want to make some money, I'm literally willing to pay you money for to out to if you ask me a question you're writing the show for us Mm -hmm. so i'm paying you to be a writer you get a writing credit if you just ask a question that's cool if you want to be a writer you can say i was a writer on sean's show and you'll never get hired anywhere because of the horrific shit that i say on this show um horrific horrific things like I was gonna blow a load on the Iranian president's corpse. Yeah, why'd you do that, Sean? I feel like if I blew a load on his corpse, maybe he would come back to life. I don't believe that, Sean. I don't believe that. My jizz is riz. My jizz has riz. I don't think that's how riz works. I got Sean. riz jizz. I don't think that's. I don't think that's. I don't think that's the spirit of riz. The spirit of riz is my jizz is blue. You know, we should do another segment where I rap. My riz is jizz. My jizz is blue. I liked your your uh, shoddy helicopter, shouty helicopter, Saudi. Saudi helicopter. I'm with the Saudis on a shoddy helicopter on my way to what was the other one? Shoddy. I'm with my. I'm with. I'm. I'm with shoddies. I'm with shoddies on I'm, my way to Saudi. I'm 
I'm on a shoddy helicopter. Yeah, it's shoddy's helicopter. Yeah. It's a Saudi helicopter. We Boom. But there we go. I'm I'm signing <laughs> you. I'm signing you. Thank you. Um wow, that was amazing. And uh speaking of of shoddies. Of shoddies. You know who is a shoddy? A, such a shoddy Scarlett Johansson. Um her voice may have been stolen by OpenAI for a new thing that they're doing. Okay, that's right. So, so again, I want everyone, let it, for the record, what, what's the date? Wednesday, May 22, 2024. Let's make a record now that Sam Altman is a fuckboy narcissist psychopath. And that this is the only the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the horrifying things that OpenAI will bring to society. OpenAI and Sam Altman are the are the return of the Antichrist. Sam Altman is the return of the Antichrist. He's a beta cuck cringe fuckboy asshole that raped his little sister when they no, were young. No. Yes, that's true. R Sean. Sam Altman's little Sean. sister. I'm not even kidding. Sean. I know I joked about the other rape accusations. Sean. <laughs> this is just a show okay, where I this, say this is the, you don't for real look it up look up sam altman little sister rape accusation i am not kidding i am not kidding sean this show is gonna make me sad i'm not kidding though you think i just talk about people that are good i don't talk about people that are good if you're on sean's show sean, you did something bad sean i want a I want a happy episode we'll do it when the world is any altman CEO read, read, open, read it read it clearly and strongly her brother is accusing her brothers of her brothers of sexual abuse. Oh, so it wasn't ugh, Sean. I came here to have fun. Am I right or am I right? There, there is, there is some. Ugh, there's allegations. There's some talk of it going on. When you become a guy that has allegations, you're already dead in the water. You be, you become radioactive. But what does it say? I'm pretty sure it says that Sam Altman's little sister, when she was four and he was 14, right? Sexually, Sam Altman sexually, the accusation allegedly is that he sexually abused his little sister. Do you think at that moment, that's when he got the idea for open AI? I'm uh, four years old with a 13 year old brother climbing into my bed non-consensually. Yeah. All right. All right. Sean, you're right. I'm not happy. I'm not I'm not happy you brought it up. I feel I feel sad. I didn't assault her. No, I, I know. I know. I know. I know. But it's a it's a scary world out there, Sean. And that man who allegedly assaulted his little sister when he was 14 and she was 3, mm -hmm. he's now running one of the most powerful AI companies in the world. An alleged rapist. An alleged rapist. Let me get. Let me. Let me say it. Let me say no, it again. You're, for you're the have, algorithm. No. No. You're. You're. You're different. You're different. You're just. He's. Sean. We're really trying. We're trying to bring light into people's lives, right? I'm not. I'm. I'm about darkness and sadness. You are, aren't you? An alleged rapist is the CEO of a company that will bring death, destruction, and anguish to everyone. I thought AI is, is supposed to help us. AI is going to help us, right, Sean? No. No, you, AI AI is good. AI is not good. I think this is going to be my role. Is every I'm going <laughs> to I'm going to play and be like, "What? I thought I the, thought this <laughs> is I thought AI is good. No. No, 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 cuz you you ask it like a silly question. It's just supposed to be like a fun thing, right? right? It's not going to like put people out of work no right? it's there, that was just that was just well, media. Well, the, the the best part about AI is that it will displace people and put people out of work. Well, well uh, businesses will get to save on labor, right? Right. And then they can like... You're being ironic, but I actually believe that. No, but like <laughs> with with that, they can uh, spend like more money on like good things. That's right. Like mm -hmm. shareholder buybacks. Yes. AI will allow companies to buy back more shares. Mm -hmm. um, and that's a good thing. Uh, but I guess we're, we're almost at time, but very briefly, let me just read this. Uh, this is an excerpt from the Atlantic, one of the gayest news publications. I do like the Atlantic though. Oh, 
LLC. If you're looking to understand the philosophy that underpins Silicon Valley's latest gold rush, look no further than OpenAI's Scarlett Johansson debacle. The story, according to ScarJo's lawyer, goes like this. Nine months ago, OpenAI CEO and rapist Sam Altman approached the actor with a request to license her voice for a new digital assistant. <laughs> Johansson declined. She alleges that just two days before the company's keynote event last week, Altman reached out to Johansson's team, urging the actor to reconsider. Johansson and Altman allegedly never spoke. And Johansson allegedly never granted OpenAI permission to use her voice. Nevertheless, nevertheless, the company debuted Sky, the name of the AI assistant, two days later, a program with a voice many believed was alarmingly similar to Johansson's. So what do you gather from all that? They asked Scarlett Johansson to license her voice. She said, no, that's creepy. You're weird. Ew. And then Sam Altman goes ahead and basically uses her voice anyway. So if, if they're not afraid to fuck with Scarlett Johansson, billionaire, multi, multi-millionaire Scarlett Johansson, what makes you think they aren't going to roll over you when it comes to your data? They... OpenAI is willing to steal Scarlett Johansson's voice and they don't give a fuck. So what makes you so goddamn sure that they aren't going to roll over your data and your privacy? They don't give a fuck about you. They're going to do, they're going to do so many horrific things that none of us can even imagine yet. And 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 people are excited about OpenAI. If you're excited about OpenAI and what AI is going to do for the world, Take a good look in the mirror and realize that you're a fucking retard. You're a dumbass. You're aloof at best. And at worst, you're involved. If you're involved with AI in any way and it doesn't and it's not for comedic purposes. I've used AI for comedy before. But other than that, other than comedy, if you're involved to like, I don't know, help people plan their calendar. If you're involved in AI to help people plan their weekly calendar for them using neural, net, neural nets, we got to go neural nets. I don't approve. I don't want you as a friend. I like to have sex with Scarlett Johansson. All right, now that's a joke. That's a joke. That's a joke. Everything else before, all the terrible things you said, Sean. <laughs> Any closing statements? I mean, is that a, is this a comedy show? I don't know. <laughs> uh, we gotta go, but guys, follow Sean's show on Spotify. Join the Facebook group. Link in bio. I'm in Tampa this Friday, February, May 24th. And then I'm in Birmingham next ju next Friday, June 7th, Alabama. What are you doing in Tampa? Headline and Coastal Creative. Nice. That's a dope venue. Please, I'd love to see you there. Uh, and um, we will see you next week. I, any closing thoughts, Matt? I We got to figure it out, man. <laughs> As a world. As a world? As a world. Well, the first step to figuring out is... Listening to the show. Listening to Sean. Thank show. you very much. Bye. <laughs>